Hello, Lamphere. I'm your host, Nick Cohen, and this is Shot Clock. Welcome to Shot Clock. The rules are simple. Each panelist gets 24 seconds to give their opinion on a select sport topic. Let's meet our panelists. From right to left, we have Mr. Jason Whitley, our very own Joe Samet, and the Michael Belcom. On the show today, our panel gives their thoughts on who they think the NBA MVP is, who should get the Heisman, and if Ohio State was robbed of their spot in the playoffs. All right, guys, let's get started. Michael, who do you think the MVP of the NBA is? Well, I'll tell you, there's really no argument right now. It's Kyrie Irving, guy, I'm telling you. This guy is a monster. He, he does it all. He's opened opportunities for the Boston Celtics that he's just going to keep moving them at a higher and higher level. Last year, they made it to Eastern Conference Finals. This year, it's going to be the Finals and winning it all against team, you know what, the Warriors have looked really good, uh, the, ca the Cavs Time's have gone down. The All right, finals. Joe, how do you feel about this? You know, I'm going to have to go with uh, James Harden, you know, he's a really good player. If he doesn't finish uh, first and assist, you know he's going to finish top three for sure. He's a point scorer as well as a ball distributor, so when you get a player that can do both, you know that's, that's just an extra plus, so... When you, when you look at a player like that, he just separates himself from all the rest. So I think that James Harden's going to have this one in the bag this all year. Right. So. Passing the ball to the other team, James doing Harden. a great job at it. I don't know it. about that. Nah. Okay, Put Jason, the ball in the hoop. what player do you have as MVP? M MVP? Well, I'm going to have to go with uh, J Joe on this one. James Harden this year, he's averaging 31 points a game, uh, almost 10 assists and 5 rebounds. Right now, he's the MVP leader for me. Uh, the only reason I would say it's not Kyrie is just because of the fact that he got put onto a team that was already successful. He's not changing the culture on the Celtics. It's just the same as last year. Well, if you're not first, and, you're last. And really, the, the Cavaliers traded him for the same exact player. So really, IT would be doing the All same right. thing if he was still on the that, Celtics. That's not true. If you're not first, right. you're Any last, final thoughts, they're gonna, guys? They're going to keep going up, and the Celtics are obviously well, going to win it all this year. I, I like they're Kyrie, but let's see, let's see if he, he can keep it up. obviously going to win it all. I yep. don't know about that, but we'll see what Oh, happens. but I do. Okay, we'll guys, good stuff. Now let's switch gears to the Heisman. Michael, who should take home the trophy? Well, you know, it's obviously Baker Mayfield. I'm telling you, this guy's got 262 passes completed. He's... Uh, over 71% of his passes are completed, 4,340 yards, 41 touchdowns. This guy's a monster. He can do it with his legs. He can avoid the pressure. He's got the deep ball. I mean, Oklahoma is a great uh, team, and there's no reason why they can't win it all. I mean, they're, they're one of the favorites. All right. Joe, who are you betting on? You know, obviously Baker Mayfield has this one in the bag, but I think that Lamar Jackson is a standout player, and he needs to be looked at with almost 3,500 passing yards, almost 1,500 rushing yards, 42 total touchdowns. He's a playmaker. He has the ability to throw and run the ball. He's, he's a, like I said, just a really good playmaker, and he just makes things happen. So I think that... Great response. Was, yep. Jason, you're up. Who do you think should win the Heisman? Well, both these, my, both these guys make great points, but uh, I have to go with Rashad Penny from uh, San Diego State. Uh, he's an NCAA leading rusher. He has 19 rushing touchdowns on 275 carries, which uh, to me that's great numbers for a, a team that I don't really hear much about, and that's probably why he won't win Heisman. But that's who I would pick if I, if it was ju just up to me. Well, well the thing is, if, would he be doing that if he played for a team like Wisconsin, where they'd actually have to face a real defense? Well, look like where Louisville State. would be at. But if, is he on if, Wisconsin? If, uh, Lamar wasn't the only player there. And and look at. You know, so you know where they'd be. Makes, they'd, be in, they'd be in the bottom of the barrel, just like they are right now. Uh, Not a playoff. All right, that's time. That's time. On to our last topic, Michael. You're up again. Do you think Ohio State was robbed of their spot in the playoffs? Well, obviously, they, you know, robbed isn't uh, said enough. I'll tell you, it was taken from them. You know, they played a really tough schedule, losing to Oklahoma. They beat P number two a team in the nation, Penn State. They beat the number 12 team in the nation, Michigan State, 48-3. to They beat Michigan and the number four team, Wisconsin. I mean, all they've done is beat tough teams. And, and lost to Iowa. And that, that is, that's bad. <laughs> but just remember, the year they won it all, they lost to Virginia Tech. All and right. lost to Iowa. Thanks, Michael. They Let's see what Joe Iowa has guy. to say. What's your opinion on this, Joe? They did lose to Iowa. My opinion on this is uh, Alabama really – only lost to Auburn, which is a really good team. The only team, team they played. 
doesn't matter. When you look at how the playoffs are now, you just cannot lose to teams like Iowa when you're trying to get into the playoffs. So that looks really bad for their resume. Ohio State, no, I don't think they were robbed. I think that it should be Alabama. They're more consistent year in and year out. So I think that, no, they weren't All right. robbed. Should be Alabama. All right, Jason, you get the last word this week. How do you feel about Ohio State not making the playoffs? Well, I got to agree with Michael. I, I, honestly, if they, they just won the Big Ten from Wisconsin, who was undefeated, which I don't know how they're undefeated. They're an excuse for an undefeated team. But like, like Michael said, they haven't played anybody good. Alabama, they haven't played anybody good this year. They played Auburn. All, all I'm telling you, the SEC, what the if committee is, if you lose I, to I, Iowa, I believe, you can't expect what the committee, the what the, they're, they're what the committee is. All right, sum it up for us, guys. If you lose to Iowa, you can't expect them but, to make but, the playoffs. But, but, but what the committee so is saying Alabama's is really overrated. straight the schedule means something. All right, right. all straight right, we're going to come to a close. Thanks, everyone. That means something. That's it for this week. Join us every week throughout the school year for more high-heated opinions and predictions from our panel. For the entire crew of Shot Clock, I'm Nick Cohen, signing out.